you need to have all of this, okay? To make your life easy. tuning into today's video no i'm just kidding <laughs> hey guys thank you so much for tuning into today um welcome to the channel if you have not been here yet please make sure that you like subscribe and you leave a comment down below support your girl support the channel become one of us period <laughs> so a few things before we start today's video i just want to say sorry okay listen let's let's just go ahead and address the big old elephant in the room before you even see her big ass look i know y'all i was trying to be cute okay and i don't get to do that often and listen just don't talk about me my eyelash she gonna be flopping throughout the video i'm not re-recording it because baby i don't be having time for that so overlook it okay i don't hear nothing i know i know <laughs> um if the angle is not the best i'm still trying to figure it out um and so yeah as long as you can see me and hopefully you can see the products then the video has done and served its purpose if you also hear elmo in the background listen baby i'm a mom okay bitch i'm a mother um we gotta do what we gotta do to make sure that the kids are entertained so we can do what we need to do okay but yeah, so in today's video, um, it's going to be a baby must-haves video. And I kind of pretty much just like came up with this because a lot of times like when I was pregnant, um, I was watching these videos myself. I wasn't sure because, you know, it's my first baby. I wasn't sure exactly like what they needed, <laughs> like besides diapers, wipes, clothes. You know, you don't really like there's so much you know and they're new they're just starting out so they're gonna need an array of things they need everything so i wasn't sure like exactly what i needed to get um but so the videos really came in handy for me so i would love to do that for you guys so and then also i'm showing things that i have used um and a lot of these things are things of course that i'm still using till this day um and it's just, it's five months in. We're going to be six months on the 27th of March. <laughs> Happy six months, baby. But yeah, um, so we've been doing this thing. Okay, so all of these things are important. None of them are things that you could be like, eh, I could do with that. Eh, I could do, it. well, maybe one of them. But mm, to me, everything's a must have. You need to have all of this. Okay, to make your life easy. I know it's so deceiving it's definitely a coffee cup um but my cup that i was using my water bottle broke this morning hurt my feelings so yeah so i'm drinking my water out of my cute pink Victoria's secret cup ain't it cute i got it for christmas like two years ago yeah i'm gonna go ahead and we are going to get started so one of the first things um that has honestly come in handy for me um, it's definitely this baby bottle soap by Dabble Baby. Um, it's bottle and dish soap. Um, this one is in the scent Sweet Lavender. Um, and it removes up to 50% more milk film um, from the bottles and in the nipples and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys know, but bottles have a lot of like little crevices and little things, especially when they come with like little attachments and stuff. And so you want to make sure, just like when you wash your dishes, that they sparkly clean. You don't want no like grease or nothing, you know, and that kind of happens a little bit. And yeah, it's called milk film um, from your bottles, you know, so this tackles it um to me i love it because it separates baby and adult dishes <laughs> but also baby and adult germs okay um i like to wash the sink out and like with lysol first before i wash your bottles um and i rinse all of the bottles out to get all the you know milk and stuff prior before putting them in the freshly clean sink and um to me it just you know because you worry about like 
harsh chemicals and things like that going into things you know for a baby and there's a lot of like recalls and stuff when baby things that can leave you antsy and like worried like i don't know maybe this isn't the best for my kids so the fact that they make baby dish soap um it definitely settles down those um feelings and it makes you feel better knowing that they're safe and that you're not using anything like harsh um you know on their stuff it's a lot of little crevices when you're cleaning the bottles a lot of little um you know little spaces so that's why the dabble baby i love it because it gets into the bottle really good dabble baby you can get it at walmart target you can order it um on amazon it's at bye bye baby it's sold in a lot of retailers um even burlington i saw it um it was a different scent but i mean same difference serves the same purpose protect the baby keep the baby stuff clean so definitely a must-have for me so another must-have um would be hand sanitizer now this one is the baby hand sanitizer it's uh by frida um it says the 78 percent alcohol hand sanitizer and yeah i got it on sale like sometimes like when you go into walmart or like you know some type of stores they have like a clearance aisle walmart had a bunch of these on sale so i bought like three at the time um, it's important to have clean hands when you're dealing with the baby especially a newborn because they can be subjected to all these type of germs and things that we do you know every day and that we encounter and that we're okay with because we've had vaccinations and we wash our hands and we're self-conscious and things like that so it's important to make sure that you sanitize your hands you know to make sure that the baby is not in harm's way so hand sanitizer of any kind is a must-have when dealing with the baby okay so one of the next things that i definitely see that come in handy um is having a variety of bottles um my story with my daughter um intentionally intentionally initially that's the way i was looking for um i was going to breastfeed right um, and then I was like, well, mm, I don't know, maybe I'll pump and put it into a bottle, right? All different kinds of ideas, not really sure what to do. I hear all the great benefits of breast milk, but I wasn't necessarily comfortable with the breastfeeding process. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, well, I know that I want to give her breast milk. That's a whole nother story for another day. But here we are today, we ended up with bottles, right? In the beginning, she kind of had like a, a hard time latching. And most babies do, they, they have to figure it out, right? Because it's something that they've never done before. Just like, you know, you gotta learn. So initially I bought these bottles. They are Tommy Tippy. Um, I really, really liked them. And you know, babies when they're little, they don't eat much. So when she was first coming home, she was getting two ounces at a time. My little potato. Now she's taking eight, okay? that goes very very fast she's very greedy and that is definitely my child okay so <laughs> yeah i got these really cute tommy tippy bottles i like them i saw that they were anti-colic in my mind not having kids i was like oh that's great i get two two boxes they came with four each i was like all right that's good whatever but no kids have a lot of times have trouble latching on and not every one bottle is going to be good enough so she ended up getting me some Dr. Brown's bottles. Um, and at first I was worried about like using both. And that was like a mistake that I kind of made in the beginning. Um, and then I realized this bottle was causing her to get ac excess air in when she was feeding. And it was giving her all kind of acid reflux and all kind of burps and gas and things of some sort, a lot of discomfort. Um, so we retired these and we definitely saved the Dr. Brown's brand. Dr. Brown's to me, is really great it says that it's anti anti-colic and it really is she hasn't had problems feeding um when we've used the dr browns thank you jesus because it was so scary and it was just a lot y'all she used to like choke out of out of her sleep milk would be flying out of her nose and the worst part about it is she was doing it silently so you really have to be paying attention because if not she could just be like choking out y'all it was the scariest thing i've ever experienced in my life hands down um so i'm really grateful for the fact that they make different types of bottles okay <laughs> to solve these problems um but it's really a learning process so i was really excited about um the dr brown's bottles um and i'm still using this so of course this one only goes up to four ounces and now she's on eight um so we do have the bigger ones now um and again they're all anti-colic and i really really love them um that's what the nipple looks like it also comes with an extra like 
thing in the inside and i guess that's how it traps the air to make sure that they don't get the air yeah yeah so it's really good to have different types of bottles because you never know what's the best for your baby so when you are bottle feeding whether it's breast milk or formula um it's good to have different ones because they all can cater to the baby's needs um different ways some of them are good some of them don't agree with the baby so different types of bottles baby must have and i need water because i feel like i've been rambling okay so we will continue in a second but can we just talk about how good baby shower mints are can we just take the time out to appreciate god's gift these things are freaking amazing they're addictive and yes i still have some because make a long story short i didn't get to have my baby shower hurricane ida if you know you know oh so sad but yeah so let me make you little mints it's a girl excuse my nails y'all i'm a little ratchet at the moment they gotta get done they keep breaking that work um and i haven't had nails pop like this in a long time so i'm just assuming that it's long because the way that she did them they were good quality so i'm assuming that it's long and i just don't know how to handle long nails but yeah so <laughs> baby shower mints mm. so good mm. That's it right there. Okay. So, alongside of having different variations of things, another thing that's good to have multiple kinds of are pacifiers. So, you see how this one is like round, you know, here and it's just straight out? Yeah, I don't know the name for it, but that's a certain type, right? And then there's another one here. And you see how like it's, it's like rounded and pushed up? Yeah don't know the name for it either but there a lot of them are shaped differently and that has to do with a lot of the way that the baby's latching um and you really just have to find out what your baby likes so when you're shopping and you're getting things or you're putting things on your registry make sure that you put like a variety of something um so then that way you could have different options for your baby because you won't know what your baby like chloe she, she don't care for that this she loves but also the way that this one is made um there's another kind by the same brand this is the nook brand this is my favorite um she it's like a gel there's one that's like a gel and that particular one is her favorite so i'll always try to make sure that i have those <laughs> first before i give her the other ones this one is her second favorite and it's still the same brand and it's made similar but i don't know the way that the other one is i guess the, the way the way that it feels it's softer on the gums is what i'm assuming um but yeah so it's good to have different types of pacifiers because you never know what your baby's gonna like so don't stick to just one so another um thing that you can't go wrong with is having multiples of these burp cloths okay babies make messes all the time it's important to have a burp cloth because when they're young and they're really really little and cute it's not like big old messy so you you might you might forgive the little stain on your shirt but once she gets that age that she is now and they're drinking more milk bigger messes require bigger cleanups and these are awesome because they do protect your clothes they do clean up a lot um and it's just good to have in emergencies because they spit up burp do all kind of stuff all kind of times so a multi-purpose um burp cloth is really good and this one is my favorite um that i have because i do have other kinds this one is really really soft i don't know if you can see like the texture of it but it's really really soft it's a muslin burp cloth um and it is from amazon so i will um try to um list everything that i am showing in you guys in this video and put in the description box um and also try to put like the prices and i guess where i found it on amazon so you guys can um find it yourselves as well but yeah so another thing um that i think really is a baby must have um are these okay i don't know if you can see them 
yeah so these things are super super cute um it comes from newborn all the way to toddler but i have the other ones in my closet and i was not taking them out because that's who's organizing her clothes they are clothes organizers um so they go in the closet on the little um you know the little circular thing the little rack thing um and it just helps you organize the clothes and it's really really good because besides yourself you have people buying all types of clothes and things like that that you are very appreciative and you want to keep it all organized um because baby stuff is very little and it can get messy really really quick so a great organization um would be to have these um so then that way you can keep the baby's clothes organized you know what you have and what you don't have so when you what i did was when i was going into the next sizes i'm like okay she's gonna need more pants you know, or she's going to need more long sleeve, you know, depending on how things go. Um, it just lets you know what the baby has and it keeps everything looking nice and neat. So the thing um, that I think is definitely a baby must have is a bottle sterilizer. So like I said, I got um, the Tommy Tippy bottles in the beginning. So I have all the Tommy Tippy bottle sterilizer. Um, this isn't one of those electric ones. What you do, um, it comes with a little top and it snaps on the sides but i don't have a snap right now so i can show you guys um but yeah it's really spacious so it looks like this and this little thing comes up and you fill this part up with a little bit of water and you put this on top and then you take like your bottles you know pacifiers things like that or whatever you arrange it in here and then you take the top and you snap it like that and then it goes into the microwave for about six minutes and the water from the bottom heats up vaporizes and then therefore sterilizes it right now since i'm not using tommy tippy um i wasn't going to invest in another bottle sterilizer um because i wasn't sure if dr brown's was going to be that bottle but dr brown's is that bottle period per thank you dr brown's um but i just do the old-fashioned way now i just have a pot designated for her bottles, pop them up in there, boil them things, take them out, sterilize, clean, good to go, okay? But yeah, so another thing um, that is definitely goes in handy because the weather has been changing like crazy. Like when I first, you know, was pregnant and stuff, I was like, oh, you know, it might get a little cold or whatever. It's Louisiana, it don't get that cold, right? Bowl cookies. It was free zip. Okay, to the point where it was disgusting and I didn't want to go anywhere. I did not like that. I do not like that. It was cold. So, I don't know if I felt like that. I couldn't imagine my baby. So, I was glad that I had thought about it prior to her getting here. A baby parka um, coat situation. And there's stuff on it now because it was sitting on this little table. But I got this from Amazon. It's really, really cute, and it's really fleecy, and it's really soft. It has, like, this nice little zipper right here, and it zips, and then it buttons here to secure. And then look at the little head. Like, it's so cute. I'm in love. Isn't it cute? But, yeah, so she looked really, really cute, and she looked like a little polar bear. Um, but it's really soft on the inside. This one's three to six months. Um... And it just kept her warm and protected from those elements because they can get sick really, really, really fast. Um, another thing that is hella, hella important, I think that you definitely need are these footy pajamas. Y'all, save my life, okay? Because a lot of, like I said, baby things are small and in the beginning they're very irritable. They're very like not with it and you just want to make that process go by fast, right? So, you get one of these, it's the all-in-one, right? Footy, so you gotta worry about putting socks on, okay? They're covered all the way, zip up, okay? It comes with a zipper. Right there, there's the zipper. I was looking for it. I'm like, where the heck is the zipper? I know there's on it. <laughs> but yeah, so I like this one instead of the button ones because the button ones take too long, okay? I have a couple of them. I'll trade them any day for another one of these. Um, but yeah, so get you a couple of these. They do come in handy and they will go through them very fast. Um, but yeah, so I love it. Um, it didn't, this particular one doesn't, uh, come with them, but I do have some that come with like a built-in mitt. So there's like a little extra piece of, um, fabric here and it just overlaps and covers your hands. So you got the mitts covered too, because that was something that I definitely ran into a lot. 
um her hands were like really really small so there wasn't enough like the mitt was too big so it would just slide right off and she's a scratcher and she would just her face up y'all and now you know she's bigger and she's scratching my face up so <laughs> yay footy pajamas i love them love 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 them um another thing i'm not gonna pick it up because whoa but <laughs> i'll just probably end up linking like a little picture or something put it off to the side but a pack and play i love pack and plays um and i got the one that had the bassinet and the changing table on it um because literally it makes the process so much easier to have a changing table rather than having like a actual changing table i mean like there it does help i guess for like storage um if you did have an actual changing table but then therefore i'm able to just pop the attachment on take it off as needed and the pack and play she's been sitting in there doing her own little thing as she's getting a little bit older um and she really seems to enjoy it uh so i'm excited because that's an item that's going to last a very long time so the sooner you buy it the more use you can get out of it in my opinion um so that is definitely a baby must have also another one i'm not gonna pick that up but i will show it um is a baby swing now i could never find the batteries for my baby swing so we be with the manual movement you know what i'm saying Get that manual swing 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 you know <laughs> um that's so depressing but yeah so baby swings it's a great place for them to just lounge out chill rock out and do their own thing chloe is in her baby swing all of the time watching elmo and she loves it and there's little toys that dangle um from the top um and she just pulls and plays with them you know and it's a great entertainment it's also a great safe place where you can put your baby not have to worry about anything um, and it's a place that they can enjoy too and they know that it's theirs so another thing um my last thing that i think that is definitely a baby must have and i need one another thing that's a baby must have is because is this nose frida so um i don't have my actual nose frida because it needs to be washed um but i will show you guys like the packaging and what it is but it's really really cool um so it's essentially this snot sucker because that's exactly what it is and it sounds totally disgusting but it's really not it's a wonderful little tool so it really does look like this um the little yeah it looks like that so there's like a little tube here that you put uh up your baby's nose well not up but like right here so kind of like you know get it by the nose <laughs> i don't know um and you suck through the bottom part and there's like a little tube right but there's also a filter the filter keeps it from being from like from you sucking up the snot essentially and all the boogers because that's gross right but yeah so she has she has had covid um and then she's also gotten her first cold and with covid not so much but with this last cold she had been having lots of mucus she was very sick bless you baby she just sneezed she was very sick and she couldn't breathe sometimes. It sounded like really, really clogged up. So sometimes as she sneezed, you guys know how I go, you know, sometimes some snot come flying out. Perfect opportunity for da 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 Nose Frida. And the Nose Frida saved the day, y'all. Like, Nose Frida was amazing. Did it, got it done. And now she's not as sick as she was before, which I'm pretty sure it has a lot to do with the baby vapor rub and just, you know, time passing by. But also the Nose Frida hmm, had your back, baby. Ain't nothing gonna have you on back like the nose Frida. She got your nose and your back. Hmm. That's the keeper right there. But yeah, it's really, really simple. I really, really love it. Um, it's definitely something that I will be giving all of the mothers uh, that I come across a nose Frida because it helps a lot. Um, but yeah, so Thank you guys so much for watching our video and for tuning in and hopefully loving the content. And I will definitely be back with another video. Um, not really sure which genre I'm gonna hit, but she'll be here. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have made it this far to the end of the video, I wanna say thank you so much. And at the bottom, comment Nose Frida because that is my favorite thing out of everything is the Nose Frida because that's a must have, must have. That one just, it can do so much for you to change your life. I'm just saying. 
So make sure to comment notes for you to down at the bottom so I know that you made it this far. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will catch you in next week's video. Bye. <laughs> oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, baby, to be a part of this. Her. Okay. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>